Okay. There's also the hot bed battery, which is one on the, uh, exhaust. Or the exhaust valve. Exhaust valves are open. <coughs> so, if my brain, if, if I got a serious leak here, I'm You're not spot. in the wrong spot. You're not in the wrong spot, yeah. And I just basically, I basically rotate the engine one more One more, more stroke. stroke. Like getting that around 40? Yeah, I zero that right there. Because that, that gives me my percentage right there instead of two gauges. It's got its own regulator in there. I mean, I have, I have one of those like that they used for. Right, the two the gauges and yeah. the. The longer you hold it there, is it going to is no. it going to continue uh, to leak? Yeah, you can you can actually hear the air escaping. Actually, um, last time when actually I've done is I stick a long tube up the tailpipe and listen with with uh, stethoscope. And you can hear you it. Can hear it kind of usually, the leakages usually are on the exhaust side. On the exhaust right side. But I mean, it, I'd like. Is that number I'd four? Like, I'd like to see that number four. I'd like to see that higher. Uh, now, around ten. Uh, where's that car? Let's do. Shits and giggles, number one. Uh, one, three, four, one, three, four, two, one. So the one should come back. I didn't you hear it before. Oh, you didn't hear it before. No. You can hear the hissing before. So one of the valves is kind of hanging open. That's why that this gauge shows that. All right. Now, we can have some more fun. I'm going to do it the old-fashioned way, and I can write whatever I want down on the sheet. That's so all right. You don't need that. to do that. Let's just do number five. We do. You know what I'll do is we'll just go across from one to four on this side with that. Okay. Just because four is the one. You know what? That's why I, I think it's just pits or rustiness on the seat. When a car sits, a couple of valves are going to remain open. Right. Some intakes and some exhaust. The exhaust remain open. It sits in a garage. Okay. Um, on a really cold day, you know everything's really freezing cold in the in the garage. Let's say it's 35, 40 degrees. All of a sudden, 
you know, getting close to spring, for example, or a warm front comes in, like what's going to happen this weekend. Mm -hmm. All right, it's, it's been 29 degrees, everything in your garage is super cold. Warm front comes in, it it's, gets up to 55, 60 degrees. Hey, let's open the garage doors, let a little bit of this warm air in here. Go in your garage, and everything in your garage is sweaty mm -hmm. because of the moisture mm -hmm. condensing on it, just like a glass of right. iced tea on a hot summer day. That's happening inside your engine, mm -hmm. and it's actually happening on those seats, too, because that that cold engine with moisture actually working its way through the tailpipe will collect condensation. And that's why it's on the exhaust pipe. Does it have anything to do with it that it's, that it's the two cylinders towards the rear here? No. No. As it's far just, as uh, just, that's no, luck of the draw? It's just randy yeah, luck of the draw. I mean, whatever the engine... It's not because uh, it's the closest to the exhaust? No, no. Actually, it's Because of the way the header works, it doesn't work that way. No, it doesn't work that way. They're all pretty much about equals, equal equals. Yeah, the header is, starts out as one. And then, yeah. Do you want me to do a leak down on the other, on number five? Yeah, just number five. I'm going to call quits. That's why I like that thing. It doesn't lie to me. Yeah, this side, I don't know, I don't know where I am as far as compression. Number five. Well, there you go. And that's actually ten. We saw number five was a little low. Number four. Five was four was four was real low. This is five. Would see it's lower than one. Okay. But it but and then four was around twenty percent. Right. And then look where four is. It's the lowest. Five is the next lowest right. on the whole scale. Right. And now it's ten. Right. Okay. One was one of the higher ones, and we were around. Four and a half, five. Oh, it was down that low? Yeah. I thought it was yeah. a ten also. No, no, it was it was it was, it was lower. Zero, yeah. Okay. I mean, believe it or not. So you're get what you're saying is you what you're getting here is is basically uh, you know coordinating with what you got here. Right. There's no real like that's right. weird. Yeah, we're not looking for a specific number. We're looking for uniformity. Right. Um, like let's say let's say the car was brand new or had a valve job, whatever. I mean, all these marks would be pretty much right around the 13, for Correct. example. Yeah. And then if I went and checked the leak, leak down, they would be somewhere yeah, well, around yeah. you know four you know two between two to four percent. But a, but a, but a compression here and a leak down of 20 to that you sort shows of shows me that that's, I got that, a that's pretty much. I got a problem there. Right. Now the only thing is with, with this thing, I can't crank up the pressure. Right. Um, those Mickey Mouse gauges, like he has, and I can crank up. We had 100 psi because one of the gauges red is 100, yeah, 100 psi. psi. Yeah. I mean, we don't, we don't, we use this particular item. Okay. I mean, I, we, everybody here has one of those things, and you know, for backup. But the thing is, we don't, we don't pump in 100 psi. We actually will put in like, you know, 20 or 30 psi. Right. So I mean, I got a nitrogen bottle back there. I can put. 1,500 pounds of pressure in it if I want to, and it will it will push that that valve closed. Right now, like I said, you got I don't have any heads here apart. Um, I mean, you basically have this really tiny little little shielding area surface that that valve's got to sit in there just right. Right. If you get that condensation that collected on there, and it can it can get like little pits of rust onto it, but right. over time, and the valve can keep what on cleaning it up. Honestly, I, I really. I really don't know what to tell you. Um, you know what, before I even say anything, I'm just going to do a quick compression test just using my gauge here because I, I want to see how quick it comes up when I'm looking at this. Okay. 